photograph of myself as an infant um, chewing a box of film. And so I think quite literally, my love for film is in me. Um, and I've always been into photography. My parents were photog are photographers, and so we would always have the photo albums and things like that. It was just kind of something that was always there. Um, I think that I've roughly been a photographer for over 25 years, but actually more seriously doing it for the last few years. Um, I bought, when my son was born, I got a digital camera, just a cheapy little one, and so I, I didn't think that I could develop a lot of film because I knew I'd be taking a lot of pictures of him, and so I went with this little, teeny little um, thing, and so I did that for a while um, with just digital, and um, and then uh, life kind of went to a dark place, and I found myself working at the Homeless Garden Project um, as a trainee, yeah. and, um, and so through there, through that program and through just the beauty of the farm, I started taking pictures on the job um, <laughs> when I shouldn't have, and so I, you know, through that I was kind of getting some feedback from people just they thought of it, and so I started printing them out and getting them um, thick and on cards and things like that and selling them mainly through their store, the Homeless Garden Project store downtown, and they have two locations there. Um, anyway, so I threw myself back into school. I went to school 15 years ago in Las Vegas, which is where I grew up, and um, in photography there. I was a photo lab tech there and kind of forgot a lot of stuff, and now I'm just starting kind of from the ground up and trying to smoothly work my way to a degree, photography degree, and um, I live, breathe photography um, when I, I mostly work with film. I do work with digital when I'm doing events. I did the Coralitos Farm Tour just recently, um, and I'll do some other farms I love, and I definitely have a sweet spot because of the Homeless Garden Project, but just so many beautiful farms around the area. If I could get paid to shoot farms, I would love that job. Um, I'm mostly selling greeting cards. That's the easiest way to get my photos out there, and um, I do sell bigger prints and things like that. I did just get asked to um, be in a coffee shop, so that's cool. Uh, have a show in December. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I mostly work with film. I do do some digital. Um, this does work. It does have film in it. I have been taking pictures tonight, so hopefully I'll get this developed soon. Um, yeah, I guess when I, um, whenever I get into the darkroom at school, which I only have a darkroom at school, I will eventually have one of my own when I become rich and famous. Um, and so there's just this giddy anticipation for creative explosion whenever I get in there. And I'm, um, I'm working on some cool things right now that are not the landscapey, beautiful flowers, macro stuff that's kind of more creepy and um, interesting, and I really love that. I'm a, kind of a general, I don't, not general, I don't do a lot of, um, I don't do weddings or portraits, and so I'm kind of limited on what I can do um, out there, but I do do some, I've dabbled in some real estate, I did one wedding, but that was just a friend that was in, um, really quick and short, so that was good, um, <laughs> and, uh, and some product photography, so I'm kind of trying to find my way, and um, I just, I can't stop shooting, and I can't stop, um, Whenever I don't have a camera, I'm still taking a photograph in my mind, in my eyes. So it's kind of passion, obsession, insanity, you know, along those lines. Um, yeah, ForgetDyer.com. I have a website now. Um, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Thank you for that.